it's going to happen 20 years, 30 years, and we're going to send people to Mars. But that's an extremely challenging mission. Imagine five of your best friends, you lock yourselves in a Winnebago, and nobody gets in or out for three years. So when people go into space, almost every body system is affected. We know about cardiovascular effects, sensory motor effects, cognitive effects. NASA does a great job of analyzing and investigating all of those problems individually, but what they don't do a really good job on yet is looking at how they interact with each other. Uh, yeah, this was just today. We're calling it the Human Spaceflight Lab, and the project that we're doing uh, currently tries to simulate those different stressors Participants wear a body vest that simulates fatigue. We also have these prism glasses that sort of simulates vision loss. You feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Let me set up the alarm. You are doing the puzzle tasks. Yes. Astronauts in space, they're constantly working, constantly doing experiments, and so these puzzle tasks that we have the participants do sort of simulate that and we track how different performance measures integrate and interact with each other. You know, when you're up in space, there's a fluid shift in the body. There's, there's more fluid in the head, and so this kind of pushes on the eyeballs. That causes a lot of problems, and there's more fluid in the brain, and that also causes a lot of problems. And so someone who is just looking at the fission problem may not realize that, oh, maybe there is some neurological aspect of it that they're not looking at. It's very unusual to look across this wide range of signals. We can put sensors on a Mars spacecraft and we can measure a huge amount of physiological and psychological and performance measures and our experiment will help guide us toward what to do with that data so that we will be able to detect, as an example, an impending problem before it becomes a real problem. Imagine yourself on a Mars mission. It makes all of these issues very acute. Knowledge is power.